Hey, this the homie Lou Will, man, and I just did a bad interview on Real Life Street Stars, man. Go check it out. Get it. Real Life. They say, uh, bust step open and I tell her, bring it back. Hold on, man. Yeah. We got him in the building, man. The, the, uh, is it cool to say legendary now? Like, is that, is that yeah. cool for us to say? The yeah, legendary yeah, actually, Dallas yeah, is yeah. on. God damn it. Uh, Lil Will in the building. Yeah. Uh, man. coming off of a, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a slobber knocker, uh, thriller manila. God damn it. Um, but first and foremost, before we get to it, bro, um, how you been, man? How's your spirits, man? Oh, man, I'm blessed, man. Blessed and highly favored. Uh, you know, we we living life right now. We uh, we doing big shows. We just did the big three. That the big three was ago. lit. You know what I'm saying? Um, we we just blessed, man. Loving life. Now, well, I'm curious, bro, with the level of success that you've had with... Uh, the Dougie busted open, uh, just your career. Um, and I'm just curious, why did, have you ever thought to like leave Dallas, like go live somewhere else for a little while? Which I know you did, yeah, stay, stay for a little in some, mm -hmm. different, but like really like move and say, I'm gonna live somewhere else. Uh, I've contemplated it, but you know, I love this motherfucker. This motherfucker be a bitch. <laughs> this motherfucker's it, a bitch. It's addicting. Hey, no, hey, and it's funny because. We talked to a lot of cats that you know have found success in Dallas. That's from this city, and um, and you, I want you to tell me what that is. When it says like, man, you get hood love, like mm -hmm. love from the hood. When you become successful in your neighborhood, what kind of love is that? Like literally, like from the spots you used to go to as you was a kid to now you're going to with the success. What kind of love is that that you that you receive? Ah, man, it's our it's our genuine love because. A lot of these cats actually watched me grow up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was a kid. And, you know, they didn't see me over all these years, man. The ups, the downs, the struggles, the ins and outs. They seen all that shit and they watched me develop to be who I am today. Yeah. So it's our it's our genuine love. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Does does it come with benefits to yes. get <laughs> was it like for for those yeah. that them them young rappers at home that's trying to come up in the neighborhood rapping at the high school or something? What are some of those benefits that that you know that neighborhood love received from going national worldwide with like a hit song? What what some uh, of them neighborhood benefits you get? Ah uh, man, I can I can order city's pizza for a week straight for free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can go get some free slices. Oh, we can slide up the street and go to El Ranchero, get some tacos and some shots. You know what I'm saying? I let the homie Vic for the free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that shit come in handy. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> it, gives, it gives you reason to stay right where you at. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's go and do it like this, man. Um, uh, We had a situation um to where the boxing match was set up against you and Lil B, man. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, first and foremost, for those who don't know, what is your relationship with Stay Down Lil B? That's the homie. That's the homie. Been the homie. Come on now. That, 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 yeah. that, 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 that no doubt never, of business. Yeah, ain't never been no quarrel between me and brother. No, none of that. You know, salute, bro. It's our love. It's been love, man. We did it for the cause. It, uh, it wouldn't know. You know, a lot of people was asking beforehand, uh, damn, you and Lil B got smoked? Did it? It ain't never been nothing like that. Right. When they seen the car, they're like, yeah. hey, what is it? Yeah. Like, damn, y'all niggas been secretly beefing. I'm, we seen the shit with Wayne. Like, damn, you and Lil B beefing too? Nah, man. It's <laughs> homie, man. So walk us through it, man. Tell us how did that situation get set up, man? Because, again, that is the homie. And, um, you know, we see a car where it's like, hey, you know, again, Charleston White was doing something out in Arizona in Say Cheese, this yeah. uh, celebrity boxing. This event followed a couple of weeks after. Yeah. Um, what was the setup to even get this thing going? Man, it really was kind of like just some fast shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 
I'm in the city, you know what I'm saying, doing me. I'm in the South. Yeah. Doing some real deal hood shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I slide through the South, get ran slow your roll in there. They're like, bro, we got a celebrity and monkey man. We got celebrity, uh, we got celebrity boxing match. Woo woo woo, man, and woo woo. I'm like, shit, I ain't nigga, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I also handling business too, boom. I ain't know that she was in like three weeks. <laughs> oh hey, me. Which is wild in the boxing arena, like three weeks to get ready for a fight. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. So what what made you take the fight? She, cause we bought enough fade out. Mm. Right, hey, break that down. We ain't scared of nothing, man. Yeah. We oh. gonna, hey, win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. We gonna, you know, you lose. She get up, try again. Nah, facts. Um, so when it comes to setting up the fight, you accept it. Say, mm-hmm. hey, we're gonna go and let's let's go and rock. Yeah. Um, was it business behind? Like, was it was business set up behind this situation? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. All business right. was. It was yeah, business was set up and uh shit, it was it was cool too, man. Shout out Slow Your Road now, man. Yeah, shout out Slow Your Road. <laughs> shout out Monkey Man. Shout out everybody that yeah. put this thing together, man. Cause again, I wanna we're gonna we gonna build up to the momentum of the fight. Yeah. Um now I ain't gonna lie to you, uh again, and I'm I'm only saying it because it was going on during the same time as y'all's fight was being promoted, uh DFW's own uh Charleston White, uh again from Say Cheese, they was doing their fighting out in Arizona. So this mm-hmm. was kind of coming on the tail end of that. Yeah. Um, we seen some, uh, and uh, I got to shout him out, man. I got to shout out a uh, 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 King Cool. God damn it! Uh, uh, it seems like getting um, ready for the fight. Mm-hmm. Who was in your corner? Who was in uh, Lil B's corner as far as prepping uh, for the fight? Man, I don't even have no. I ain't do no training. <laughs> That's the question we about to get yeah. to. <laughs> I ain't do no training. Wait, I, came, wait, wait. I went straight from the block doing push ups <laughs> to the ring. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so again, there's video, there's videos of Stay Down Lil B training for this fight. Yeah. And you said, I ain't about to, nigga, we just, nigga, out the mud, nigga, we just gonna do hey, what we do. Out the mud, man. Yeah. Out so, the mud. Did you, did you, did anybody, did any trainers approach you to, prep for it or you just like nigga fuck all that uh shit basically that's what I said fuck all that <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm um, curious and well it's just an honest question man uh you know again we, we you know we know you we know you hey, yeah yeah but I'm just curious um prior to this let's just say in the past let's just say five years how many like Physical fights have you had, like oh, physically? Oh, I am I am involved in a lot of no contact sports. Please don't think outside of that ring you finna run up on me and swing, cause um, <laughs> the, hey, look, it was guns down, gloves up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the <laughs> that's the mo- that's the damn goal, man. That that's was the, the purpose, purpose, man. That's the purpose. Running yeah. up trying to punch on me ain't that ain't the fucking goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, without saying too much, um, you know, you 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 stop some fights. Uh, <laughs> you stop some fights. You know, so, <laughs> you know, so nah, it's a non-contact sport. Fucking sport, man. Goddamn. Um, so leading up to the day, man. Uh, what was your regimen for the day of? I know you say you left the block to go right to it, but. You know what was your regimen coming up to the day of the fight? Did you uh, do? It? Did you wake up early? You stay up late? Uh, shit, I didn't go to sleep. Oh, nigga. <laughs> um, <laughs> me stayed up all night. Uh, straight up that morning. Uh, both of my sons had football games. Oh yeah. When today football games, by the time she and me and T. Bob left the park, it was time to go shower. Go down to the south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She did. Uh, it was my oldest son's birthday, so. I left the South, went, picked him up, and we went to the booty club till Friday morning. <laughs> yeah, that's some for real shit. That's some real shit. On me, for real. That nigga going on uh, 48 <laughs> hours of uh, non-sleep. We about to get yeah. to it. Like, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no shit. You know what I'm saying? Dap little B up, hugged him. Uh, <laughs> holiday slowed down, and she went, picked up my oldest boy. We went to Cab North. Shout out Chubb. Yeah, shout out Chubb, man. Fuck around <laughs> Cab North, goddamn. Yeah. Um, so all right, let's go and go through that, man. Uh, 
The venue itself, where was the venue held at? What, what was that? It uh, was at uh, 3D Daiquiri, South Dallas. South Dallas. And it was a ring outside? Yes. They built a ring outside. Man, that motherfucker felt like a wrestling ring. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. It, it, in a bit. It, look, it looked bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> as far as even what you had on, was that a, was there a plan on what, like what I'm gonna wear, the shoes, the, uh, the what the fuck? Nah, not really. They just called the nigga and were like, uh, we uh we got sponsors for both of y'all trunks, bro. So we got That's y'all true. with the whoop. So all I really knew was just the color. Okay, like, yeah, what color? And you know, we went That's from there. All right, so. But, like, it, if you pay attention to the shit, I ain't have uh, nobody in my car. Bro, we did no prepping. Yeah, no, no. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I seen some celebrity fights where they wear, like, headgear. Yeah. Y'all niggas just out there. Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all, was that, like, a plan? Like, no headgear? We just gonna get out there? With yeah, they on? asked us. They asked us. Well, y- y- y'all both said no? We were like, yeah. Oh, shit. Y'all, y'all for real with the shit. <laughs> y'all for real with the shit. Um... How was the turnout, like, even leading up to, like, pulling up and, like, seeing how many people was there? Like, were you surprised about the turnout? Hell yeah. Nah, for real. Man, look, me and Lil B said we wouldn't have gave them no set number. We knew what we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you knew we was going to do that. If we knew we were going to do that, we wouldn't have gave them no set number, man. We would have been involved in the... In the metrics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Now, when it comes to, uh, you know, you, you see the... You see the you see the crowd. Everybody's out there. Y'all about to get to it. Um, I think how many how many matches were before y'all match? Uh maybe three or four. Okay. I, was it, any, I know some, some some two females fought. I saw that. That I think was that before or after? Was that before or after? Was it? It was. Yeah, after? I think they was after. Okay. Okay. Um, was anybody else names like in the city as far as that's out there getting to it? Anybody else out there out there uh, uh, before or after the fight? Uh, I from what you know, really, yeah, now nah, from what I know. All right, and again, y'all, y'all the main event, y'all the main event. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's go and get to it, man. Uh, you know the main events coming, little little Will versus Stay Down, little B, man. God damn it! Uh, again, mutual companies. Yeah. Uh, who's in your corner? Who's in his corner? Like as far as just, do y'all have corners? Do y'all have like a, a a nigga telling y'all what, coaching y'all what to do. Oh uh, shit, he had a corner. I ain't have a corner. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> you chose not to have a corner. You just, you just like, hey, I'm just yeah, just fuck it. We out here. We man, look, that's the real shit. Yeah, that's the real shit. Right, that's the real shit. So shit, that taught my ass a lesson though. I ain't eighteen no more. Ah, so let's go and get to it, man. Um, the fight itself, man. Again, uh, I was able to watch the fight. Uh. Shout out, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna shout out Spain because you know that's the only way I really got a sense is like see the motherfucker yeah. like, for fully. Um, did you have a game plan going in? She not really, man. <laughs> All right. um, me, I just uh, she we just finna get out of here and she swing at it. We finna punch. Fuck it. So he, did you know that little B had like training before? Like nah, see I like, I yeah, ain't like, he literally I ain't, yeah had, like boxing he literally, training yeah. I see I ain't know that neither though. <laughs> I mean, he was putting online that he was like, well, yeah, with I mean, shit, that was the day before. <laughs> <laughs> they posted that the day before the fight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't how, it wasn't like they gave yeah. me a head. No, well, Showtime three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the nigga betrayed him to, to, to do this fight. Like, it seemed like he had a game plan, so you just went in like, hey, we just about to fuck around. Yeah. Um. So, bell ring, y'all get into it. Boom, we going. Um, Lil B, look like he has a strategy. Like he has a like a a, a a distance strategy with you where he hold a distance and then throw the jab. Were you expecting on your end, like, man, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to defend or I'm going to be on offense? Where, which one were you leaning towards, defense or offense? Uh, I was leaning toward defense. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The first situation that happened, was uh, it was a, a lean in jab, and it seemed like it. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm just watching it. it seemed like you had cut off balance, and it's like, nigga, we okay, we 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 really out uh, here, like within boxing rules, I'm off balance. It took you for it took you for a fall. What was in your mind at that moment? What was going on? Like, all right, boom, all right, boom, we down, we about to get, we, we, all right, shit, what's, what's about to happen? Yeah, I'm I'm seeing the one too, so I'm knowing that punch finna come. 
So as he getting ready to cock that hoe, shit in my head, I'm like, bam, I'm finna jump back. What I wasn't expecting was as he threw the jab, he stepped with that hoe, stepped on my foot. Oh, so it's things we don't yeah, see. yeah, yeah. Step on my foot as he coming with that cross. So shit, it was it looked all crazy. I do all this. I do. This. You know what I'm saying? It looked like he fucked me up, but I'm pretty. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> Fuck around with y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Fuck around with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. So it looked real crazy, but does yeah. does does 18 year old Will whoop little bit? Oh man, a thousand times. <laughs> Nigga, listen. <laughs> not to go, not to go on, on your health regimen. Uh, w- did you change any eating habits? Any habits b- up, leading up to the fight? <laughs> Why hell nah? <laughs> <laughs> Me and this nigga had two pints of ice cream a piece the night before. <laughs> we never know. So I ain't make a bluebell run. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> so, so I was told that you know that you smoked a cigarette before <laughs> before before you got in there. Did that? Oh shit, a blunt too. <laughs> oh, hey. Come, hey, so wait, 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 wait. So you know, boxing is half like. Half of his breathing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They got to respect. Yeah. Shit, so, I, hey, I told you. It taught me a lesson. You got to respect that shit. Why them cardio and them legs got to be hey, up to par? Nigga, nigga. So I'm curious as far as um going, off- going on offense, did you at least have an attempt to like, let me block some shit? Was that even ever in your mind? Like, let me let me throw some dukes up and block, uh, block a punch or two? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. She do that shit for two minutes. Your goddamn arms get tired. Yeah, hey, listen, me personally, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. My way, glue, uncomfortable. <laughs> nigga. I was like, shit, okay, I see what these niggas be on. Nah, so um, I'll respect a little B again. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, he, he took it serious. Yeah. Nigga had trainers. But he still was tired too. Yeah, nah, it, 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 it could have went anyway. Hey, for, <laughs> it could have went anyway. That nigga was like, nah, bro. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> it could have went, went anyway. So, again, uh, and I just want to, let's, let's just touch on the business of it. The promotion leading up to the fight, um, how, how do you feel that was as far as the, promo, the promotion of the fight, the flyers, you know, everything that led up to it? Yeah. It was, uh, it was cool for what it was, man, because, you know, that was bro them first time. Yeah. That was their first time, you know, doing this shit, ever setting it up, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And they they did, they, I feel like they did, they just do. Did you know that the venue was going to be outside? Did you know that? Uh, no. After, so even you I walked- mean, I kind of figured that, though, because inside, I done been in 3D before, and it ain't that much space. Would you, would you do it again? Yeah. Do you want a rematch? Yes. <laughs> shit, we gonna call. Shit, we gonna hit little B when we leave here. Okay. We gonna highlight Gary, be in their face, slow your roll, monkey man. Them. We gonna set up a rematch. We gonna set up the time. I'm gonna take it serious this time though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What What does a serious little wheel look like? What does this What does this taking serious look like? Ah man, shit. We no gonna, ice cream. Oh shit, no none of that. <laughs> no none of that. Nah, it's training every day though. God, you got to You got to actually train for that shit. This is sport. This is a sport. You know this is a sport. So you gotta handle it like that. Practice makes perfect. Practice does make perfect. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I felt like again, and shout out to every person that put this thing together because um, the outlook when I see how many people was outside, how many yeah. people was there for it, shit yeah. was packed as fuck. A hey, for real though, nigga, and, and, the city, st- and, the city and, came and out. On some real shit, I want to uh, salute Lil B, man, because bro came better prepared. Yeah, he took it real serious. He came right <laughs> he, took, he took it very serious. He took it serious because, but on some real shit though, like, look at Lil B. He don't got no good at eating habits. <laughs> Neither do I, you know what I'm saying? So, like, nigga is, you know, bro, we stopped It was a good our, matchup. Yeah, like, it was from, a good matchup. from when they got at us, we stopped our everyday, well, he stopped his everyday life and actually, you know, nigga yeah. trained every day, whoop de whoop, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, that takes a lot. That's a... A mental goddamn, cause I showed sure didn't. <laughs> yeah. For the For business real. of it, do you feel like uh, if you was to run this back, whether you be part of the actual event or promoting it or getting, 
from what you've seen with the business, do you feel like, man, it is something you want to put your hands oh, on? Oh, yes, definitely. They okay. got it. I'm t either way it go, I'm calling those guys at night, and they got to cut me in. Because, yeah. <laughs> man, they, bro, I, I didn't expect. It was, it was, it had to been a couple hundred people out there, bro. Like, what, like what, for real. What does this do for the city? Uh, it was a, it was a great look for the city, man. Cause yeah. you know we, we come, we in a time right mm -hmm. now where it's still kind of North Dallas versus Oak Cliff yeah. and Blase Blase. So you know, for uh, for Cass to see a, a cat like me. Who know, you know, on my side for actually keeping a gun and who the blue, you know what I'm saying? Like to be promoting guns down, gloves up, and actually riding through with it. We ain't pulling no stunts. I ain't finna uh, do something a little bit beforehand so we don't get in the ring. And I, we ain't doing no, none of that. You know what I'm saying? We finna, we finna ride it through. So let's talk about it then, man. How important is what y'all, do you feel like y'all did? Um there was a situation where, <clears throat> rest in peace to Roy Lee, um, he wanted to do a celebrity boxing match with uh, Yellow Beezy. Yeah. Never happened. Yeah. Uh, Mo3 was saying, I'll do a celebrity boxing match with Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy. Yeah. Uh, you know, never happened. For y'all to actually go through with it and say, man, let's just show these boys, you know, like you said, without a training regimen, put your guns down, put your gloves up, and let's do it for the entertainment value. This could have actually happened years ago exactly. with other entities. How do you feel like what y'all did can honestly push the envelope forward in doing it, this more often as far as just, man, let's uh, just get to it. That's some awesome man shit. It, shit, I feel like we broke that barrier. A lot of cats were scared. A lot of cats be scared. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, look. You think they be scared to take a loss on, on, on set, on camera? That? They they scared of that. They scared of just taking a loss, period. Ain't none of them actually been in no fights. Some of them, they'd rather go fight their baby mama than go get in the ring. Nigga. You know what I'm mean? saying? Nigga. So all of those things come into factors because, you know, ain't nobody older than them showing them that. And we just did that. Yeah, and we're gonna do it again. Yeah, it rematch, say, little B. It rematch, rematch. <laughs> uh, rematch. And not only that is, again, to be able to like, for, for the, man, it's crazy the way that, you know, the the media works is uh, Lil Will took a loss. Oh, shit. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, blase, blah. You sitting right here. Hell yeah, yeah. To live, you sitting right here, look, looking right, looking right at this motherfucker like, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a blessing in itself to and be able to say. let's not forget I was just shot in the hand. Come on now. Let's not forget. You know, let's not forget. Not forget. And for the cause you put it together, man, for the cause. Yes, sir. Um, again, the goal is to be able to say, hey, we can't put these guns down. We can't pick these gloves up. Yeah. Uh, what advice would you give, let's say, somebody coming into this arena who, let's say, took it like you, who's a, let's say they out here, they got a name out here, they about to take a celebrity boxing match. What advice would you give them going forward? Man, get your ass some cardio in. <laughs> on me I'm telling cardio you cardio seems like it's like that's fuck strength and conditioning hey, nigga cardio two three minutes is a long time to be out there punching man I'm t get your ass some you better breathe <laughs> <Nigga>. <laughs> and be able to breathe you gotta hey you gotta have your win together man for real outside of Lil B man is there anybody else you would've took up in a boxing match uh before then now nah. after me and Lil B Blue Skin Blue skin? <laughs> blue skin blue. I let whoopsie ass shit. I heard your ass nigga. I let whoopsie ass shit and goddamn uh I'm sending my cash out right now. Yeah. Come on, me and you too, fat boy. You gonna on. go, we gonna go after that. Come we on. We gonna go after me and Lil B, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be ready this time on me. If will look will Lil Will take a uh a celebrity boxing match against Big Tuck? Against Big Tuck? Yes. <laughs> Man, cut it out. <laughs> so what are you about to be out there doing, nigga? Man, Tuck up Floyd, the body. Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Andre the Giant. <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Nah, for real. Yeah, shout out that nigga Tuck, though. Shout out that nigga Tuck, man, for real. Man, so outside of this, man, um, again, the numbers look great. 
Again, yeah. I don't know how it looked. Next time, hopefully, pay per view. Actually, this was on pay per view. This was on TV now. Yeah, TV now. now. Uh, were you part of that? As far as linking up, because we, I think we interviewed uh, some TV now earlier. Yeah, um, um, I, w- I actually was not. Okay. Uh, not a part of linking up, but they let us know that you know with me and Lil B. Uh, agreeing to be a part of that shit that they was coming aboard and they was, you know, with the shit. And so I knew of it. I just wasn't a part of it. Kind of seen the behind the scenes. Do you know, like, if you was to, not saying you're trying to do your own little thing, but do you, if you was to run your own situation, do you see the inner workings of it to kind of do your own shit? If you was to do like a put together celebrity box yeah. match? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Who would you like to see in the city go at each other? Oh, you know what? I actually don't, because. Me and me and Bob was talking about this earlier, and we was coming up with some names, man, because the homie had said he was he wanted to, uh, JB. yeah, say he wanted to punch. <laughs> who who so you want to fuck with? Well, JB. that's what we were thinking. Like it was, it was yeah, it's you know, but then uh, you know they were. Cause it's a whole lot of, that nigga Lil D bitch ass post something on that D Turner. Shout out my nigga Lil D though, but he a mark. Uh, he post something on that. <laughs> and uh, Monster jumped on his shit. Yeah. Like yeah, I want yeah. nigga, I want to punch too, nigga. I'm fucked it. So, so, so let me let me throw some names out there. Let me tell you. So you tell know, me. we could put together a nice, you know. Tell me who you think gonna win what? in these scenarios. I'm, I'm gonna just throw some scenarios out there. All right, so uh, uh, Monster Mob versus T Cash. Oh man. Ooh, <laughs> that's gonna be a good fight though. Ooh, that's gonna be a good. That's gonna fight. be a good one. That's gonna be a good one. All right, let's do it like this: Rainwater versus Dallas Global. Ooh, I don't know. Rain might take him. Rain, okay, okay, okay. All right, uh, uh, Yellow Beezy versus Trap Boy. <laughs> uh. I don't know, man. If trap doing what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said trap. The trap on what I'm on. <laughs> so them cush up, yeah. <laughs> ah, that <laughs> shit. Nah, that's real. That's real. Nah, that's real. That's real. That's real. Oh. Um, so, all right, man. Let's do it like this, man. Because you know we talking about this course of boxing match, which again. We can't wait for part two. I can't wait for the business yeah. of part two to go down. Yes. Uh, I don't Look, know if this needs to if, be. If, if we set up a part two between us, real life is going to rock with us. Oh, nigga. Uh, yeah. We should have been out there for this one. Like that now part, that we know what it was. Now, yeah. No, now that we know what it was, nigga, we, <laughs> we all the way through that. Bye. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we all, bye, we. We all the way through that bitch next week. <laughs> I don't know if this needs to be like uh, annually, or, or not annually, but maybe yeah. semi quarterly yeah, or every, every, yeah, yeah. every six to three months, bro. This shit might need to go down just showing what it is. For real, um, outside of that, man, uh, you know, again, and in, in first and foremost, thank you for even putting this on because, again, the business behind this of what this was and the turnout, I feel like it's only setting up for bigger business to come. Uh, and I would love to see your face being on, you know, the lead of like saying, hey, whether you're in the ring or you're on part of the promotion of just getting this shit together. You actually, you know, you set up a whole new scenario for Dallas. And again, nothing against the uh, other boxing leagues that's out there. You know, we didn't seen OG Percy fighting, uh, you know, niggas and uh, nothing against uh, shot a whole lot of woods that do shit at Vivo with Bebe and them niggas. For what this was, I felt the energy was on another yeah. level. Man, see, like when Brody came at me with it, like me and Bow, I already been uh, Corey from yeah. Clout. Yeah, you know, Clout, shout I Corey Clout. Been, uh, coming and hollering at us, and you know, talking to the uh, boxing gym on um, Forest, and I did. You know what I'm saying? Like they already had a lot of these things in works, man. Because a lot of young cats really is dying around here, like at a rapid rate. So it was out for a good cause, bro. It was the right cause. That's real. So speaking of that, man, I want to go and touch on it, man. As far as um, you know, you have been the face of uh, North Dallas for a minute, man. Um. You know, again, uh, you know, three came through, did his thing. Uh, a lot of cats, even uh, shout out Pugalucci, uh, K rocking them, mm-hmm. uh, even prior to you. But you know, you have really turned up for the for the section of North Dallas. Um, when it comes to North Dallas politics, man, as far as what's going on in North right now, and like just the situation, are you in? Like, put, I, mean, I don't want to say, I want to ask, like, do you care? Are you involved in like talkings and inner workings of the politics? of what go down through North Dallas? 
you say the pot as far as the politics as in as in just when things are happening niggas like to speak to niggas about things that's happening yeah. and hey how should things be handled yeah uh i'm in the know yeah i don't like to be too much involved in all that shit you know what i'm saying because it, this the knife, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and everybody that know Lil Will know Lil Will ain't finna uh, be a neutral party and be on this person's side or that person's side. If I'm neutral, I'm neutral. You know what I'm saying? So I, so me getting intertwined in the politics and all the sayings and then I, that shit messy. Man. Um, so let me ask you this. Um, uh, rest in peace to uh, Trouble, man. Uh, yes, yes. Rest in peace to my little brother, man. Was a situation that um, I think it kind of hit ahead in North Dallas. Like we didn't had a lot of losses. Um, you know, within the within North Dallas successes, it seemed we had an equal amount of losses. Um, Trouble was like the latest one that is like, man, like what the fuck? We really dealing with this shit again? Uh, when that news came across your timeline, um, how did that shit affect you as far as with you know, man, the not even. Trump? Uh, not even across my timeline. It was, I actually, bro, messaged me. I was, uh, I was coming back from LA. I was on a flight back from LA, so uh, I had turned my phone off and shit. And when I landed, my phone just started going nuts. Like I had like thirty damn text messages. You know what I'm saying? And all of them hoes were saying trouble, 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 trouble. Actual text messages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they sending videos and shit. And so it fucked me up. And, and the crazy part is, uh, a lot of people don't know Trouble ran with my little brother real tough. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like real tough. Them niggas was everyday partners. So shit, he was at my crib like my little brother was. You know what I'm saying? That nigga like my little brother. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when, when, uh, I was coming back, so was my mom, cause me and my mom was in LA together. You know what I'm saying? So uh, she was the first person I tell, cause she right here with me. I'm like, when they saying trouble dead, and she was like, what? And I'm like, yeah. I click on the video, and I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? Damn. And I'm showing her. You know what I'm saying? She crying and shit. She done started getting uh, voicemails and shit from where my little brother called from the pen. You know what I'm saying? So it it was all crazy, man. Damn. It was it was crazy. Um, I think the situation happened like almost kind of towards Garland, you know, which is like a suburb of uh, you know, outside of North Dallas. Um, for you to see it happening so close to home, uh, what did that tell you about your section, about your city, about just moving around in your city, like when it comes to having ops and things like that? Man, keep your head on a swivel, man. Keep your head on a swivel and if if you, I was always taught, don't don't let a another person uh, drama bring you out of your comfort zone. Like like my parents always taught me, don't let nobody come get you out the house to go fight with them or fight a battle. Where don't don't let them get you out your house, your comfort zone for that. And I think that's what little bro did, man. He got out of his comfort zone because trouble was out the way. Yeah. Trouble was out the way. With his baby, all it, you know what I'm saying? He stepped out and, you know, that tragic, tragic, man. Oh, how long has your brother been locked up now? Uh, He's been locked up like 16 years now. And when does he come on? Uh, he was since to 20. So mm, he could be home within the next two. It depends on him. Depends on him. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, what is your relationship now with uh, the other, you know, um, let's just say hit makers in North Dallas, man, as far as, um, you know, Pookie, Lucci, K-Rock, uh, Lil Wit, uh, so I said Lil Wit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, hey, it was funny, I ran into, uh, I ran into Dosky G yesterday. Yeah. Um, Dosky G, my High brother, Ride. my brother. Uh, you know, like, well, what's your what's what's your status with everybody right now, man? As man. far as y'all niggas was like really a hit making factory. Yeah, um, uh, we still in we still in good standards, man. And my brothers, man. I just uh, I just seen Hot 
we just had a meeting. Um, he got some film uh, offers and shit, <laughs> and they was reaching out to uh, me and Spain about it. So we linked up with Hot Talk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, everybody is still in good standing, man. You know, Cash popped out last night. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. My brother Doski, he yeah. good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. JB popped out yeah, last night. JB, yeah. Uh, we was with that nigga at DG the other night. Yeah, yo, man. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, so everybody's in great standards. Pookie, Lucci, you know. Pookie, that's my brother. It's so let's do it like this. Standings. Um, You know, since Spain got out, man, uh, it seemed like he turned it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was great to see you doing numerous concerts. Uh, not saying you weren't doing them before. Yeah. But when Spain got out, it seemed like the duo was back. Mm -hmm. How was the uh, event y'all did? Um, I think it was a, it was a. Da I don't want to call it Dallas Boogie tour, but it was like they brought us some heavy hitters from the Boogie era. You and Spain came out, did y'all thing, and a couple others. You know, it was a really, it was a good move, a good moment for Dallas. Um, I think I think y'all was at uh, I don't know if y'all was at Gillies. Or, I don't know where y'all was at, but uh, it was a. Uh, trust me, I know y'all did a few. Yeah, I'm, I know we did a few. I'm yeah. trying to think. And how's uh, it been? Because y'all been y'all y'all been everywhere, kind of yeah. just kind of re reinvigorating that Dougie movement and uh, getting back out there. How has that been as far as seeing the resurgence of this Dougie movement, uh, the Boogie era, uh, and all that? It, it's been it's been great, man. It's been a blessing within itself for for Dougie to still be ticking and me and LeBro to still be getting paid off of shows. You know what I'm saying? This long down the line, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And it felt, shit, just, it felt like old times, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause a lot of people, they be, they they look for that. They want to see that boogie. They want to see Dougie. They want to see the dance, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't finna get that from Louis. <laughs> that just ain't, that ain't finna happen. <laughs> so wait, they be expecting for you to do it. <laughs> yeah, that, and that ain't, they be disappointed. Like, it, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen. So, you know, with LeBro back, Spain, he finna give him that. Yeah. So it's just, it creates that, you know, that. Now, that, well, I ain't gonna lie, 100. Uh, <laughs> you know, the fact that Spain back out there getting to it, we see you slowly trying to get back. Like, not saying you're doing it, but you slowly trying to, you know, get that little groove back up as far as like, I'm gonna give y'all a little something, but I'm gonna let Spain do his motherfucking thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am not finna, man, say, man, we was out there, Spain was dipping. I said, <laughs> I said, man, I hope bro don't get stuck. Look, it, it, was, it was so many goddamn people at that big three thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. said, man, I hope bro don't get stuck down there, man. Nah, it's love, man. And definitely shout out Ice Cube, man. Uh, yeah. Big three put y'all definitely on uh, yeah, doing the Dallas yeah. portion of that, man. Um, yeah, shout out to Dougie for the uh, the Legends tour. Yeah, Dougie came through on the Legends tour. Uh, yeah. 50 years of hip hop. We, I, yeah, uh, yeah. How does that feel to be... You're so, like, honestly, and let's, man, I mean, because, again, we keep trying to give you the flowers that you deserve. We seen Barack Obama hit the Dougie. Yes. When it's when, when they talk about 50 years of hip-hop, I mean, you are definitely synonymous with, like, a high end of that 50 years of what that moment was and what this song that you did was where people still question. I seen Mason Cameron talking about on their sports channel of how the Dougie came into play and, you know, from the video, and it's like, it all leans back to what you did. Like, no matter how they try to spin it and what Cameron, like, it all comes back to what that dance comes back to what you created. How does that feel to be that part of moment, whether paid in full and all, for you to be that part of hip hop's history right there? Man, to, to get the call from Dougie Fresh, like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Y'all come rock out with me tonight, man. That's all the blessing I need. Yeah, what, what's better than that, man? Like, Dougie Fresh know my phone number. Yeah, I feel Nigga, Dougie Fresh know my phone number. I walk in the back and Uncle Scarface like, Louis, and go to talking to me about his cows and his horses. <laughs> For real, like I haven't been to his ranch in years, but he filed right back to it. Like, yeah, nigga, I got cattle now, nigga. <laughs> you gotta woo, woo, woo. And shit, Dougie walk up and they back there and face like, uh, 
man, back then I remember Dougie Fresh was the first nigga I know, uh, known on Brownstones. He owned Brownstones. You know how much money, you know, to be back there and absorbing that game, man, and meeting these people, man, and rocking out with them, that's blessing in itself, man. So I'm, I'm beyond ecstatic about everything. What's the problem with you and Rainwater? What is that problem? Uh, bro, we don't, honestly, I don't know. I don't know, man. We don't have no problem. The first I mean, time he ever spoke, I know the first time he ever spoke on us, he spoke on me and Young Black in a situation in Hawaii. Yeah. But nigga had a blast in Hawaii, man. I don't know. I don't really know what's up with bro, man. And I and it ain't like we don't talk. Oh yeah, talk. Bro, he just called. I just talked to him about the. A situation with bro album like oh we, yeah so we so, talk bro like okay <laughs> like how could we not in rain folks with rude damn that every day yeah rain folk with bow well let me ask you that because he did speak on that what what do you think he said that the amount that you were trying to charge him for the mo3 uh song he felt like that was too expensive do you feel like that's too expensive or? not at all Okay. Not at all. What do you gauge your feature costs on? Like, what, 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 what's your gauge? What's your, what are you gauging on as far as what you charge for a feature? Uh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't even on the the feature part of it. Yeah, it's because yeah. I own this. Yeah, you wanna, yeah, yeah. You you want to own this? You yeah. want? It's a song that you and you yeah. had with something special that y'all had. Yes. So, but he wants it for a certain amount. He, he wants it for Mo 3's new album. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, bro, if I feel like the price I told him was, it wasn't nothing, bro. <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah. So, when you look on the level of it, Empire, it, kinda, it wasn't nothing on the level of Empire cutting man, the check. Nothing. And, and it kind of gave me the vibe of, you know, when when you like out hustling and your homie come try to holler at you and they wanna, you know what I'm saying? Ah oh, man, you can't give it to me for the 60, but they go down the street and pay him two hundred dollars. Man, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Come on. It now. kinda gave me that vibe. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Now you really just trying to you trying to handle me, bro. Damn. Yeah. What happens is uh the label gives a budget. Uh, niggas would love to uh, stay within budget and keep some of that money in their uh, fucking pocket. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta ask you because you know I ain't gonna lie, Will. Uh, back when we did uh, when it was real talk, no BS, and we had you into that interview, you talked about the residuals you get from uh, my Dougie. Uh huh. Um, and since then, has the business been good still with Dougie? Uh, is it been up, down? Is it all over the place? Like, um, are you still dealing with business dealings with the Dougie? Uh, are you still yes, going through trials still, and tribulations with it? It's still, yes, it's still been good, man, because I don't know if y'all paid attention, but Dougie and Busted Open just had a surge on TikTok. Facts, no, we seen it. Every time Soldier Boy do anything crazy, it comes that back to do some more numbers. <laughs> anytime he do something, his chain, he do, his chain fall off in the concert. Yeah, we get another million spins on Dougie, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Type in who is Soldier Boy. Yeah, <laughs> Dougie gonna pop up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's been it's been a blessing, bro. It's Definitely been a blessing, man. Um, we seen the recent uh, Dallas Cipher pop up. Um, and shout out Pugalua for mm -hmm. putting it together. Uh, were you approached by that cipher to get on? Uh, not part one. He oh. he reached out about part two. So there is a part two possibly in development. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts as far as he, getting? He uh, reached out to the homie and uh, had him had him hit me. Yeah. Uh, man, I fuck with Puga the long yeah. way. Um, she he know it's my brother. Whatever you need, I got him. <sighs> so we working. <laughs> Def, def. For those, um, and again, this is for the world because again, your song is worldwide. Again, if y'all don't know, uh, my Dougie bust wide open a, a few other hits. Um, when it comes to having a worldwide hit, how long can you tour on a 
on a hit that the world the world knows. How long can that take you, man? As far as touring for years, bro. For years, I didn't actually. I think I looked up and damn near six, seven years had them went by. <laughs> and I was living out a fucking bag. <laughs> Cause we was always, you know, on the move. Man. Always. So it was nothing but like a bunch of fucking clothes and luggage. Nigga. Can you see yourself, um, you know, again, shout out 50 years of hip hop, you know, Jay-Z, he about to be, you know, I know he well into his 50s. Yeah. Can you see yourself into your 50s still doing that song right there? T- touring the world if they call upon you. Oh, yeah. Dougie Fresh doing it right now. <laughs> that nigga, Dougie Fresh doing it right now. He, he doing his shit, my shit, the niggas in Cali shit. He, <laughs> he shit, doing all the shit. What you mean? Uh, he finna, hey, and that's, that's respect. He, hey, it's love. That's what he's supposed to do. He's 50 years of hip hop. Who was on Lil Will's next up at a Dallas list? Who you got? Uh, Side Dallas Kiki shit talking ass. Oh yeah, she had her her shit talking ass. Yeah, she got she got she got some. Yeah, she got some. We seen her live performing last night at a Don Cheap shit. Mm-hmm. She got some. She got yeah. some. That's my nigga. She yeah, owed, nah, for real. She owed me some goddamn lasagna. <laughs> nah, she, she make a mean plate. Hey, <laughs> she make a mean plate. Goddamn, hey, goddamn. Man, for real. Anybody else in, in, in at, at least in your, just from what you've seen that like got that package that could be sold worldwide? Yeah, uh, shit, of course, you know, I rock with the homie Lil Q. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, my little kin folk, Rashad King. Oh, come on now, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they definitely. And that damn uh pay way. That goddamn pay way. That goddamn pay way, man. That, that nigga apply pressure like a that motherfucker. That nigga entertainer, man. That nigga's entertainer. Hey, yeah. That nigga's entertainer like a motherfucker for real. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, if they was to make another Def Jam vendetta type game and put a little wheel on that motherfucker, what would your finishing move be? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the chopper. The chopper! <laughs> nigga! You pull out the chopper and Why rock. nigga die? <laughs> That'll be wild in a bitch. That'll be wild in a bitch. The nah, chopper. for real. For real. Yeah. Oh, for those that, for those, uh, I don't want to call them haters. This is called those, those, uh, the, the, those that provide criticism for you getting in the ring. And uh, you know, going for the one two and uh, doing what you did. What message do you have for those that those people that criticize you even getting in the ring and the outcome of what happened? What what message you got for them? Man, jump in that hoe. Get in the ring. <laughs> Talk about it. Don't yeah. Don't type about it. Don't type about it. Show me something. <laughs> Don't type about it. Climb, walk up, same way I walk up the stair, walk up the stair. Nigga. So do you have like a real respect for Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford now? Since you actually uh, been in the boxing ring? Got yeah, us? yeah. I mean, but I had a respect for them beforehand. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of people was talking uh, about Spence after the loss and I was going to his defense. Like you can't win against him. Yeah, not fat. You jump in the ring against him, he gonna beat your face in. So, you want to see Spence fight Crawford again in December? You think that that fight needs to happen in yes. December? So you you think Spence is ready to get back in there? Yes, if he says he's ready, I believe it. You dust yourself off and try again, man. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. Uh, who's to say? You know, he'll never know if you don't try. Not for real. I don't know. Part of me want to see him like maybe fight one or two fights before that, but I feel you. If you yeah. hey, if you ready, you ready. I mean, he hey you man, you learn the most in a loss. Um, he learned evidently he learned a lot of shit, and he trying to go and put it. You know, uh, Lil Will versus Charleston White. Who wins that? Lil Will. <laughs> Are you, are you are you going for body shots or are you going for head shots now? Both. <laughs> both. He blind on one side or something, ain't it? Say, man. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, so take, yeah, take both. Him out. I'm trying. I'm going at that blind eye. God damn. God it is damn. not no fair fight. It's not no fair fight. In love and war, God damn. On me. In love and war. 
So for a message for the kids out there, man, that again, you know, you, from what you've been through as a as a youngin, bro, to the get living to your ripe old age, bro. What do you see when you see kids in high school picking up guns, ready to go to war? What message, if any, do you have for them as far as those that do want to go straight to picking up a gun and have to, yeah. to solving beef? Man, uh, don't ruin your life, man, because it's a lose lose situation. It, whoever dies and you go to jail for a long ass time. So now he gone and you gone. His family hurt, your family hurt. It's a lose lose situation, man. So, you know, it, that, that ain't never the answer, man. They do always, they, they look for alternatives. Like, nigga, all, all I knew was to pull, pick up a gun and go, you know, defend. Yes. Are there alternatives, do you feel, out there for a young man who's looking like, I'm going to pick up this pistol and handle the business? Yeah, there's other alternatives. Shit, is out, man. For one, weigh out your options. Yeah. <laughs> Weigh out your options for one. If it's a bad situation, then it's nine times out of ten is bad. Yeah. If it's justified, then it's a little different. Yeah. You know, because it's certain standards and morals that I live by. So if it's justified, you know, I kind of feel a little different. But weigh your options, man. For for ten minutes of emotion, you finna go do uh, sixty five years. <laughs> That makes ten, no you, sense. You make it. I'm, you, you mad you for said ten, something. You yeah. Said something right you now. was mad for ten minutes. Ten minutes. And that changed the rest of your life for the next sixty-five years. Nigga. See, I, I was just up that road. Nigga. I know how the food is down there. <laughs> Nigga. Everybody can't hit the guards down there. <laughs> Not everybody. Everybody ain't hitting all. The, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't hitting the guards, nigga. <laughs> You really? thinking there's a party down there? Hell no, nah, yeah. <laughs> you gonna be down there dry. I'm telling you, man. So, man, hell no. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta weigh your options, man. Man, talk to him, man. God damn it, man. Uh, North Dallas is building um, an arc, right? Over uh, Skillman, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, with that arc, do you feel like? some type of newness will come to North Dallas, hey, whether through yeah, music, yeah. whether through entertainment, whether through just the, it, just to, how does the North Dallas look in 2025, 2026? I mean, it looking good. It, it, it's goddamn, they done put the arcs up there. Yeah. The whole aura of it just, you know, speaks volumes, greatness, amongst greatness. They put yeah. the arcs out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right on skill and block. Right on skill. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so it, 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 I feel, and then I feel as if. Feel like it's a new beginning? Like yeah. a new, like a really well, new beginning? Well, I, I mean, it's a new vibe. I feel it gives, a, it's giving us a new aura, a new vibe. Yeah. But uh, I feel like we always been the better rappers in all that. The best rappers I always been from the now. God damn. Shit, <laughs> you say you might be saying something yeah. like when you say that because I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people have come out of North, uh, have saw success, um, and nothing against all the other parts of Dallas. But what do you feel about the North that just provides something different? Because again, there has been a lot of success, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of North. swag, but we actually rapping, man. we telling you something, man. Have a nigga ever like listen and broke down. Uh, a three verse? Have a motherfucker ever listened and broke down a Lucci verse? Come on. Have a motherfucker ever listened and broke down a K Rock verse? <laughs> a Cash verse? Yeah. A Doski verse? Come on. Nah. You know what I'm saying? A Lil Will verse? Oh, sir, man. We actually telling niggas something, man. We actually rapping, man. Like, for real, for real. The most trouble you ever got in, was it in North Dallas or was it in another part of the city? As far as just jumping into some shit and like, oh, I'm in it. I'm in it now. No. The North. <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> a lot of people on the outside look like, man, what's really going on in the North that could really be detrimental to a man's health? Shit. There's <laughs> a lot going on. No. On <laughs> me. <laughs> Don't know at all. <laughs> shit. Man, you can. Is it always shit. over female though? Because they be like, North Dallas got some of the bad. Hell nah. <laughs> a lot of A lot of the times it ain't over no female. Because cause nigga, it's a lot of players out here too. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's just, I don't know, man. It, I don't know. This 
motherfucker crazy. <laughs> and you can it can happen to you on Wildnut or you can be on Park Lane. Or any that you know what I'm saying? Nah. I don't it's know. enough, man. I ain't gonna lie, it seems to be like uh a lot of shit is kicking up dust during the daytime now. I'm like, whoa, what yeah. the fuck is going on? Broad daylight. Broad day. Broad daylight, bro. Yeah, it could go down. I'm Broad like, daylight. shit. And that's all, that's all of North Dallas, though, bro, because them cats over there on Web Chapel and shit, they over there fooling, too. So just real quick before we get out, I got to ask you, um, when Katrina hit and uh, New Orleans niggas came to the north, for you, what what was that for you? Like when you seen them New Orleans niggas coming through the north and man, just... some of them niggas were my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, for real, real shit. So yeah, I kind of was like, man, yeah, niggas chill. They came, yeah, they came to, hey, they came to shake shit up. Real shit. They was taking shit over. Uh, I, I remember strictly. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember. And I, I tell you some real shit though. I remember getting a car from the nigga Scooter Mac. Yeah, like bro. Uh, pull up over here, man. We in CPC, and Mob had and got into it with a uh, with a bunch of little New Orleans niggas. So they a nigga Scooter was trying to really uh, disperse the shit, trying to you know kill it, kill the yeah. situation. So he called me and Kirk over there, and we, man, y'all niggas did this shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause a few of them little my little cousins and shit, and. Some old shit. Oh man, y'all niggas chill out, man. Did this shit the hell wrong with y'all? They all at the tennis court in CPC. <laughs> so that shit was crazy, man, for real. And I get, goddamn it, uh, they did come through and <laughs> they shook shit up. Um, so again, on the flip side of things, man, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta ask you, man, it, it goes left when it comes to like you know Forest Lane and um, I forget the name of the apartments. Uh, but it was uh, was something Ben. I forgot well, what it was. Uh, ben, ben Creek. Ben Creek. Oh, was it Creek Ben? Yeah, Creek Ben or Ben Creek. When it seemed like the uh, the LGBTQ community started taking over that motherfucker. Oh, man, nigga, what was, was what the fuck was that? Man, she it was a uh, fight or flight. <laughs> <laughs> fight or flight. <laughs> No, man. They was fighting them. Yeah, yeah. And them parts were whooping niggas, too. <laughs> I seen the park choke a nigga out. Hey, hell. Hey, hell, nah. See, that would nigga be forgetting that them niggas still men. You can go out there playing with that boy, girl. He choked the shit out of his ass. Come out of character. Um, but what? Fool. Nah, he got in character. <laughs> Shit, he told, showed that nigga who he truly was. Nigga. So shit, choked this stupid ass out of right there. I said, see, that's hey, what you get. That's hey, what you get. Why you even out here fighting? Nigga, Drake yeah. in the crib and it's over. <laughs> on um, me. Choked him out, boy. On um, nah. me, for real. That's some wild shit. That's some wild shit, man. Hey, for those that do want to follow the Lil' Will movement, man, as far as what you got going on next, what you got coming up, man, can you tell them as far as what are you pushing, man? What are what do you have going on either in music or outside of music and whatnot? Uh, you know, ARO is the business. The business. The biggest business. You know what I'm saying? Uh VBS Media we fucking with. We um Which is doing great by the way, goddammit. Yeah. Uh the content, uh y'all need to push more out because again, that shit is amazing for yeah. what y'all doing. Man VBS Media. We actually setting this shit up right, bro. We have like two years no, facts. of like what, like a year and a half of Sin City content? I'm about to say a good two years. Good year and a half, two years. Like yeah. a year and a half of goddamn crazy, crazy shit. I've heard stories. I heard, I heard people come from y'all. I heard people come from VVS Media and say, oh, it's wild over there. Bro. It's wild that, over there. Bro, that nigga, uh, 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 bro, 97.9, uh, uh, Zay or who? Jay Cruz. Jay Cruz, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jay Cruz said, oh my God, they told me. <laughs> <laughs> they told me it was going to get wild, but damn, Will, you know I got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's wild. Hey, for real. That's when you know it's wild. But, <laughs> Yeah, that nigga said, damn, you just jumped straight into it, bro. Sorry, sorry. I'm married and shit. No like, Vaseline, <laughs> No Vaseline, <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, man. No, we got, that's lit. BBS Media, man. Turn yes, up, man. Up. We got some crazy shit that we are getting ready to drop, man. I'm talking about some fucking hilarious shit. Uh, we actually, uh, we haven't made up our mind yet, but we 
thinking about dropping an OnlyFans edition, man, because we got some. That'll be dope. We got some crazy content, though, that we can only push there. And I'm saying, y'all got some We can't put it nowhere else. We're going to get banned. Y'all got some hitters. <laughs> y'all got some hitters in the city. Yeah, we can't put it nowhere else. We're going to get banned for show, for show. Yeah, that's uh, cool. that's shit, cool. Blues can fuck around and catch a charge or something. <laughs> for real? We, it's doing too much, man. Yeah. Oh, doing too whoa, much. look, I, probably, I said it on camera. Like, whoa, Blues can hold on, baby. Hey. Doing too much. We gonna get banned. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, that's what I said. We gonna get banned, bro. Only fans might be the way. <laughs> Real yeah, shit, that might yeah. be the way. That's what I tell any. We gonna get banned, bro. Like, hey yeah. man, like shit. Hell yeah, but yeah, man, we we got a crazy content. Uh, we just dropped dropped the Carpe Diem uh video. Okay. Got the Carpe Diem album. Uh, we getting ready to drop. Hell Actually, yeah. finna uh, set up a listening party and all that shit for those jams. You know, y'all invited. Right, let's do it. Yeah, man. Uh, hey. Yeah, no, no, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we in the hey. new spot. Hey, let's yeah. go. So, yes, bro, we we doing a whole lot of work here, man. All right, definitely. As far as uh, music, um, you know, again, Dallas is real big on nostalgia. Has people been reaching out to, like, do more Lil' Will music, more new verses, uh, trying to dip into that nostalgia bag a little bit? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just fucking around, fucking around. Yeah, they have, they have. Um, man, we've been knocking the features out. Um, we putting the music together. We we working, man. It's it's finna be uh real crazy, but we finna pump it back to back to back. That's funny, man. Every time I uh get a chance to see uh Lil Will and uh Rook in the same room, it always goes back to uh See the will pop lock in my gun. Hey, <laughs> it, hey, for it real. It always goes back. It always goes back to that yeah, original yeah. shit before the fame, man, before yeah. the game. Man, we wrote that shit in Rook living room. Yeah, man. Nah, eat pizza or some shit. Yeah, nah, hey, listen, and it's a blessing that when the niggas say no, Dallas really been putting that that shit on, man. You know, we some young niggas and real life street stars out in North Dallas that. It only adds to that flavor, man. So I'm like, it's a blessing to have you right here. It's a blessing to come full circle once hey, again, real, man, as look, always. It's, it's, hey, like I tell y'all, it's a blessing to y'all having me, man. On um, me, you guys are on um, y'all best shit. Hey, man. For Let's real, go. for real. With that being said, any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to Real Life Street Stars. Uh, shout out to AO and VBS. Uh, real VBS, one. Goddamn. Shout out to my kids and my mama. Everybody else, fuck y'all. There you go. <laughs> hey, until the next thrill in Manila. Hey, the nigga taking all challenges, guys. Hey, man, nigga. say, man, yeah, and we in the gym for real, though. Hey, hey. We, I'm not playing. Hey, hey, nigga, nah, we, we for come, real. <laughs> nigga, die hard with a vengeance coming for back. For real, hey, that. for real. Hey, you already know what the fuck time it is, man. We got him in the building, man. Mr. Bust Wide Open, man. Mr. My Dougie, man. Lil' yeah. Will. Come on, we got to say it, man. You are a real-life street star, man. Yeah. Let's see you, Let up.